Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about another renewable source of energy, hydroelectricity. So let's start. Hydro means water. And hydroelectricity is electricity produced using water. But how? Let's see. Hydroelectricity is mostly produced in big structures known as dams. Dams are big structures made on rivers that store a huge quantity of the river's water in a reservoir. And these reservoirs are too large and possess great height. And when they release water, from such great heights, the water falls with a great force, which is sufficient to rotate big turbines that ultimately run big engines to generate electricity. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Now, let's learn advantages of using hydroelectricity. First and foremost, advantages, it is clean energy. That is, it does not pollute environment in any way and no fossil fuels are burnt to produce electricity. Secondly, it can be a domestic source of energy. That is, any state can produce its own electricity without relying on international fuel sources. A hydropower plant is capable to provide electricity at a constant rate throughout the year. The big reservoirs created in the process of making dams also serve the purpose of recreational activities like water sports and makes it a tourist destination. Now let's learn some of the disadvantages of hydropower. Firstly, dams are very expensive and time-consuming to build. People in the flood regions of the dams are forcibly moved to other locations. Construction of dams also causes geological damages. For example, the construction of Hoover Dam triggered many earthquakes. Dams also arises international conflicts. If a dam is built on a river, that passes from more than one countries, the country that builds the dam gets the control of the flow of the river, and the other country has no control over it. So it can be flooded if the other country opens the gates of the dam. Now let's learn about another renewable source of energy, and it is geothermal energy. A lot of energy is stored beneath the earth in the form of hot molten matter. And this energy can be trapped through various means. Example, steam of lava is trapped and used to run turbines, which in turn produces electricity. It is a clean and sustainable source of energy. This heat energy of molten matter can be trapped from a few miles beneath the Earth's surface using a geothermal heat pump system and can be used to keep our home warm. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. It helps to melt the snow from the sidewalk. 
to provide us hot water throughout the year. In many countries, most of the buildings and even big swimming pools are heated with geothermal hot water. Advantages of geothermal energy. Geothermal energy can be extracted without burning fossil fuels such as coal, gas, or oil. So it's a clean source of energy. Unlike solar energy and wind energy, which are not evenly available throughout the year, geothermal energy is always available, that is, 365 days of the year. It is least expensive compared to wind energy, solar energy, and other sources of energy. Now let's learn some of the disadvantages of geothermal energy. The main and one of the most important disadvantage is that it releases hydrogen sulfide, which is a gas that smells like rotten egg. Next disadvantage is that if you use the same geothermal site for years, eventually it may cool down. So you cannot rely on one source as a permanent source of energy. So kids, today we learned about two renewable sources of energy, and they are hydroelectricity and geothermal energy energy. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!